The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Earlier, we were giving you a report from the wildfire at Parrot Mountain in Pulaski County. Now, you need to know there are several factors that are aiding in wildfire danger right now. For one, we are all in a drought. We all need the rain, okay? As a matter of fact, this is Roanoke's driest year so far since 2007. In addition to that, we had gusty winds today. The winds may actually settle down briefly tomorrow before strengthening late tomorrow and tomorrow night, and especially into Wednesday. Wednesday could be a very blustery day for us. And in addition to that, we've got some falling foliage that leaves on the ground, uh, certainly provide more fuel uh, for these wildfires once they get sparked. Now, peak wind gusts here for the next three days, two Tuesday, tomorrow we could have gusts about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So on Halloween, it might be a little bit on the breezy side, but look at Wednesday. Wednesday, certainly those winds become much more of a factor for us. Could have gusts on hump day 25 to 40 miles per hour. Come Thursday, those winds will calm down. Now, as we look at wind speed month by month, we are now entering the time of year where winds are going to become more of a factor for us. We're leaving August and September behind, and those are our two months where we have the least amount of wind. That is if you're not impacted by a tropical system. And once we go from October to November, look at that spike. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're looking at, certainly at uh, more in the way of some breezy or windy conditions as we head into November and December with the four windiest months of the year, the first four months of the year from January through April. Want to show you what we're seeing here on the radar and friends, you'll notice that we do indeed have at least some scattered showers around, most of which are very, very light. And as we head up, say, towards portions of Amherst, Nelson and Rockridge counties, you'll notice that we are certainly seeing at least a little bit of wet weather around Lexington, Buena Vista, over towards Amherst, even areas near Wintergreen seeing a couple of showers. And as we go a little bit further down to the south, you'll notice that we are still tracking at least some lighter showers near Appomattox and also over towards Alta Vista, also into areas just to the south of Bedford. All this pushing east northeast about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Here's future tracker. And again, as we go into tonight, the best chance for a few showers will likely be east of the parkway. Looking at Tuesday. Don't be surprised tomorrow to awaken to clouds and also some spotty lingering showers. Coverage area looks pretty small tomorrow. And then by around lunchtime, a lot of the showers go away and then we start to see skies clearing. Certainly going to see a little more sunshine late tomorrow afternoon than what we're going to be seeing in the morning hours. Good news for your trick or treaters. Tomorrow evening does look to be dry. However, if you're watching us in Pocahontas County, West Virginia, you could certainly have some West Slope snow showers tomorrow night because it is going to turn awfully, awfully cold behind this frontal boundary. I will also tell you, though, that the cold air is not going to be here forever. OK, we're going to be very cold here as we head Tuesday through about Thursday. By the weekend, we start to see those afternoon highs climbing into the 60s to near 70. So we are going to start to moderate just a little bit here as we head into the weekend. Certainly going to feel like winter for us on Wednesday. But by the time Saturday, Sunday roll around, it's not going to be as cold. Temperatures are a little more uniform now than they were at 5 and 6 o'clock, where it was in the 50s, even some 40s out west and you're still in the 80s out east. You're still 60 in South Boston, 56 in Lynchburg, but you're down to 41 in Hot Springs and it's 44 in Withville. Temperatures even colder further west, 20 Bismarck, 29 Kansas City, it's 29 in Chicago. That's the air headed our way. And with this cold air headed our way, you might be thinking any frost or freezes headed our way. The answer to that is Yes, we're going to have a hard freeze Thursday morning and potentially again on Friday morning. So Wednesday night and Thursday night going to be very, very cold with temperatures hovering near or below freezing. Now for tonight, we are cooling down a couple of stray showers, especially east overnight lows, mainly in the 40s, higher elevations in the 30s. And tomorrow looks to be a day where we'll slowly but surely see clouds decreasing. Any showers end highs tomorrow, 40s and 50s. Highs on Wednesday virtually everywhere will fail to get out of the 40s and we're in the 50s Thursday, 60s Friday, near 70 Saturday and Sunday. We're dry Wednesday through Saturday with more sun, Sunday, Monday, a chance for a few showers.